What's going on guys? It's 2024. I hope you all had great holidays and a happy new year. First video of 2024 here and well, I haven't been making as many as many videos as I was maybe through COVID, you know, just time, been busy with my business through the summer and, and into the fall. As the guys know in the Discord, I'm always around there. I spend a lot of time there talking lots of hockey cards and so I thought the first video of the year I would sort of dedicate to them. I'm behind in my community flips, so I get guys in the Discord to sort of post some of their flips, whether they're Com C or buy to grade or, or just whatever kind of flip it is. And so here they are. So let's take a look at some of them. I just, yeah, I thought I'd put it together for those guys because the Discord means so much to me. We have a great community there. If you want to be a part of it, I'll put a link down below or you can fire me a message on Instagram is probably easiest and we'd be happy to have you in there, but still going strong. There's action. It's not like some other discords that have died out. We have a great group of guys in there and I really appreciate those guys. And you know, we talk some smack and talk hockey and it is a good time, but let's get right into it. First one we got here at JK Gems has a signature legends, Dave Andrichuk here out of 199. He purchased on May 19th for 12 bucks. June, less than a month later, sold for 2778, profit of 1578, 132%. Toba cards, my boy Zach purchased $136 for these Connor Hellebucks. We got a couple of OPG Platinum. There's one graded MNT 9.5, and the other one he graded himself, so that's a $26. $136 purchase price, total of $162, which includes the grading, and he sold them for $453, profit of $291. Connor Hellebuck having a hell of a year this year. Winnipeg Jets win again tonight, first in the league. Good for them, don't care, go Evs, go. But uh, Connor Hellebuck, great flip there by my boy, Zach. George P, always in the Discord too. He's got a few different cards here. So we got purchase price 13.25. Sold these four for $60.08. We got a Rupe Hints, Young Guns, Aiden Hill, Jake Ottinger, and Thomas Harley, some OT OPG Platinum, but profit of 46.83, 353% ROI. Not too shabby, good job there, George. A Liaminator, Liam, my buddy, met him for the first time at the expo in November. Great kid. We had a good chat. He came out for dinner and we talk hockey and he's a Sens fan. And anyways, Liam, appreciate you in the Discord. He's, I may have said it before, he's sort of our Elliot Friedman posts. Everything that's happening around the NHL keeps us all up to date. So we know it as soon as it hits Twitter, he's usually on it. So we appreciate him. Aiden Hill here picked up for $3.55, sold for $30. And oh, this was, I can't see when he bought it, but this is when Vegas was in the Stanley Cup final, I believe, uh, mid-June, sounds about right. Anyways, he got it for four bucks, 355 on Com C, and sold for 30 bucks on eBay. So great flip there, 25 bucks profit, 527 ROI. Don't forget guys, hit that like button, subscribe up. I'll be doing more videos. I got, I got some good ideas. It's taking me time to put them together, but I'm not going anywhere. I enjoy doing this for you guys and I'll keep doing it. Here's a Ryan Reeves by Montreal Sports Cards. Montreal Sports Cards is our local, what should I call him? Speckled Rainbow, Young Gun Speckled Rainbow Specialist. He's sold a lot of those things. If you see them on eBay, they're probably his or a good amount of them of the speckled to PSA and then out the door. Anyways, this is just a smaller one for him. Ryan Reeves, this is when Revo was headed to Toronto. So he picked this up for $16.88, sold for $32.06, easy peasy. Take that 15 bucks, 90% ROI and buy something else. Liam Nader back at it. New hook, this one, he was going to Montreal. So this was, this is something now guys that the Discord helps with too. A lot of guys in there do this stuff. I don't do it quite so much, but I do have one coming up, one that I show. I don't show many of my flips. Uh, this is more about them, but you'll see. Anyways, if there's trade speculation or different things going on, especially in the off season, You'll see this was done in June. Playoffs were over. So Liam picked this up for 30 bucks on Com C. 45 minutes later, New Hook goes to the Habs and he sells it for 57. So 27 bucks just like that. Couple mouse clicks make uh, 27 bucks, 90% ROI. That's how you do it. That a boy, Liam. And so here's one for me. And again, the only reason that I'm showing mine is because the guys led me to this. I never would have got this on my own. I never would have done this on my own, but I went out on a whim, grabbed this Max Domi 
Young Guns Silver Foil for $30.25. Two days later, I'm not sure if this is exactly when he went to Toronto or, or what happened, but whatever happened, the price, I sold it very quickly from $30.25 and got her, sold it for $66.46 for a little profit there of $36.21, 120% ROI. We'll take it. JK Gems back at her. Kale Makar, we got a winning materials here. Five and a quarter purchase price sold for $14.25, $9 ROI. 173 the west dub elias petterson here's a seismic gold purchase for 825 now i'm not sure if he got that at auction on ebay that's something that i do a lot is pick up auctions the the com c auctions on ebay and then i keep it on com c and you can flip it that way or you can send it back home and i would put it in my ebay inventory but anyways, I'm just curious, maybe he purchased this through an auction because they seem to go really low in 825 for an Elias Pedersen Seismic. I don't think would be sitting on Com C at that price. So I feel like he likely got it in an auction. Wes will let me know. Anyways, sold it for 19 bucks. So nice little 130% ROI. Pop that 11 bucks in your pocket, buy something else. George dealing with the goalies quite a bit. So he's got Gustafson and Hill here, as we know. Hill again during those playoffs, but George had this, you can see the bottom one there, the upper deck AHL card, rainbow foil, like not a card I would ever buy. He bought it for 15 cents, sold for, for 350. You know, nothing wrong with that. That's that's how you do it. There's always opportunity. You just gotta look for those, those little ones. And so the total purchase on these two was 615, sold for 1472, nice little profit, 139%. On to the next one. Liam back at her 2009-10 upper deck Sydney Crosby glacial graphs purchased for $275 sold for $471.80 nice ROI there of 196.80 uh, that's 72% but obviously higher nominal dollars is too so nice flip there Liam weaning my boy saw him in Toronto at the expo Nick we had we went out for dinner together and just had a good time. He's not as into cards. He's not buying more into selling, but that's okay. He still pops by the Discord and you know we hate on the Leafs and and do all the fun things that that us guys do, and just love the guys. So Nick, we appreciate you being around. But here we go. Here's a card, a Pavel Bure Fanimation that he bought for ninety nine cents. Graded it. I don't know what he paid to grade it, so I just know that he graded it himself. So I'm gonna assume that's about 25 bucks Canadian. So we'll call it him being into it for about $26, sold it for 200, profit of $174, ROI of 669. That a boy. Pringlea, local Manitoba guy here. So Pringlea before PSA was available on ComC uh, for grading, he was sending some cards to CGC. So here's one that he did, the Matthias Maselli. $40.25, so that includes the grading, I'm fairly certain in the numbers that he, he gave me, and sold for $106.23, so a $65.98 profit with an ROI of 164, so well done there. Alex Ovechkin, Metal Universe, here we go, this is another one, $34 with grading by AMP Cards, sold for $180, and this is just the base card, guys. Quick profit, 146 bucks, 429%, great sale there. Some of these inserts, you know, if you can be first to market too, there's definitely opportunity. A card like this, I think is really cool. It has everything that, that I look for in cards. I look for, I, I like the iconic moments. I like these championship hardware type things. And I like autos now where, you know, the players are, are holding the cup. Like for Colorado, when the cup does come out, I'm gonna be buying everything where, you know, there's hopefully Miko and Kale and Nate all with the cup holding it up. And, you know, just those iconic moments. I think those types of cards will hold value, but this is another one of them. Anyways, good sale there, AMP. HCH, so HCH, had a PC of Alex Newhook when he was with Colorado. HCH is a Avs fan, I believe. And then when New when Newhook went to Montreal, he decided to sell off. So the total purchase price for this lot, you can see on the far left are all the cards that he sold. Um, and then in the top middle there, you sort of see all the parcels. He has he has the pictures of him sending it out, but all those sales there anyways, purchase price 589.66 sold for $1,049.57 for a 
profit of $459.91 ROI, 78%. So great flip there. Got to be tough to take a PC guy like that. But when he's not in your team's jersey anymore, I can certainly appreciate, you know, someone wanting to move those. When guys get moved off my team, I'm a little bit less inclined to obviously collect that player. So I can appreciate that. Great flip there, HCH. Good job. Montreal sports cards. Here we go. Here's the speckled. So purchase price fourteen eighty seven, and I believe he made it. He made this speckled himself on EPAC, graded for one hundred one dollars and twenty five cents, and he was upcharged. Smart guy, send it in for cheap. Let PSA upcharge you. Don't don't try and figure out the level. Just send it in cheap, unless you need the card back super quick. Like don't don't send it for fifty dollars when you can send it for twenty five. It only makes sense. Let PSA upcharge you. Anyways, so he was into the card, 1588.25, sold for $3,000 in cash for a profit of $1,411.75, ROI of 89% beauty there in montreal and that's all i got for you in this one guys guys hit that like button subscribe up thanks for watching got more videos coming we will check you